back out again this time cheeky one all right it's the uh it's what do you call it it's the algorithm where i've got a job in the morning which allows us to come out into the hills this is my job is at wooler and i've got to be there like 7 30 in the morning um so rather than go for a mine it's an hour and a bit to get from mine so i'd have to be able to like half, half past five six o'clock i just thought well no i've got a good idea i'll go to the hills and stop here I'm only about five miles from Wooler, so I don't have to be away at ridiculous o'clock in the morning. We're working on the, the new distillery, that Ad Geffrin distillery. Ad Geffrin was the, um, the patron saint of alcoholics, and they've named this distillery after him. Look it up, look it up. Ad Geffrin, patron saint of alkies. So this is an alcohol-free camp, but I'm hoping for some nice views and skies. There's no wind though. Midges. I've been up here before, and there's always a load of midges up here. I hope. I hope there's a little breeze at the top. There's the slightest breeze here. All you need is a little breeze at the top. We'll, uh, we'll find out when we get up there. But yep, yeah, cheeky midweek camp. Work in the morning though. It's the only downside. Like a big massive bee buzzing us. So after about 45 minutes I'm at the top of Cold Law. Been here before like but it was a long time ago, a few years ago now. It hasn't changed to be fair. I don't think it really would. would it? The heather was out last time it came as well. Every flying creature known to mankind is up here. <laughs> it's the time of the year, isn't it? Them flants, flying ants, ladybird, I think that's did that. There's things buzzing all over the place, bees, wasps, it's about to be spiders. Cheviot spiders of death. But you know, I can put up with all that. It's the midges I don't like, the um, midges and ticks, they're the things you want to avoid. But there's that little slight little breeze coming which is just chef's kiss i'm gonna just pitch here i think that's where i was last time i might put the door facing facing into the wind because it's forecast the wind's forecast to change that way it's blowing it'll be it's not going to be windy i don't think it really matters just want the views over the coast yeah so I'm gonna get pitched and then get something to eat lovely yeah really nice peaceful I've never seen a person yet never seen a soul grand there you go zup up really well I've got the pole high so I can get the ventilation because I have a feeling the temperature might drop tonight which causes condensation and this is especially for you Tompo look at that corner there's nothing wrong with that corner now that's perfect perfection we just get everything in it's a bit high up there but that's that's because I've got the pole high like I say once you put all the gear in, you just flatten that down. Ah, there's loads of these little things. I've got the mesh shut. <laughs> Keep them up. Alright, all the corners are up alright. That's good, that's looking good. Right on the top. 452 metres. It's quite steep getting up. It's short, but it's bloody steep. I've forgotten how steep it was, and with it being I think temperature's about 22 degrees. I don't know, I sweat all the way up. Like, I'm just so glad there's like a little breeze. Just hope it, um, I hope it stays the little breeze. Because if it doesn't, I'll be sick. Listen to, the, listen to them. I don't know if they're bees or wasps. They look like wasps, but I think they're just bees. 
honeybees have a season, you see. I eat lots of honey, me. And I think because of that, I don't get the hay fever. Because this is a prime spot to get hay fever. All the dust that come off that heather. Look at my boots. That's all dust off the heather, that. It's stuck to the, uh, stuck to the wax. Anyway, I'm just going to set my camp up and just chill out and get the kettle on. I've got the door open again. This can't, every, every time I put this up, it goes better. I haven't got a guide out, really, you don't need it, do I? Uh, I've just got uh, my stuff set up there. I've brought my chair, I'm put that up in a minute. I've brought pasta sauce, pasta and sauce, rich bolognese, probably have that. Fire pot, just in case I get extra hungry, which I don't think I will. More might things. Don't know what the hell that is. Probably awful. Porridge for tomorrow morning. A bit of energy. Coffee's in there. All set up. I've still got my summer bag out. With the orange seat of summer mat underneath it. Down court just in case the chill comes. Backpack goes in the back there. And there is still plenty of room. You probably get three people in there. Right. Two. Well, that's it. I'm just going to put my chair up and then chill out here, listening to the creatures. Noisy, like them buzzing things. They're not. They're not wasps. They're like giant bloody. I don't know what they are. They're black and yellow. They look like giant black and yellow flies. They look like wasps. They don't. They don't go on like wasps. Wasps, pss, pss. it's hard to say, isn't it? Like crisps, pss, pss, pss. crisps, pss. wasps. Pss, pss, pss. I'm annoying myself. Anyway, Tompo, right, and Steve, who I've been out with a few times, are on the uh, West Highland Way. That's as we speak. They've probably pitched up now, but they're feeling the heat. Apparently, they've done the hard bit, the Loch Lomond bit. He told us they did that yesterday and they cooled off in the lock in the water. And they've got nice weather for it, but is the weather a curse? And is it too hot? Because even coming up here today, only a mile and a bit, I was absolutely sweating. So I don't know. They're not sure if they can continue in the heat. Got to, got to keep going on. Done the hard bit. Uh, we'll find out. He'll put some videos up. He'll probably put some videos up whether he does it or not. He says he's formed a bit of it. Hopefully they'll do it. Hopefully. How do you cross your fingers? He can't do that. The weather is weird. It, the wind's just totally gone. I'm at the mercy of uh, midges. Look at all these. Having a field day, flying and flight and sort the problem. There are it. You put up with them. Let them bother you. It's the midges. The midges are coming. The midges are coming. The midges are coming. Run. They're irritating. There's just no breeze anymore, it's gone. Ah, this is the down downside of uh, summer camping. Is when that breeze vanishes, you're at the mercy. Anyway, I've made this. Actually looks quite substantial. Looks quite nice. It's only 50 pence. Looks alright that, doesn't it? I'm just letting it uh, do its thing. Been on the news there, radio. Ronnie, uh, Charlie Watts, sorry. Charlie Watts of the Rolling Stones died. Ah, first one to go. He was 80. When you think of the rock and roll lifestyle, and he got to 80, I don't know, to be fair, like, but uh, it's sad, isn't it? I like the Rolling Stones. Anyway, I'm just gonna sit here 
when I say sit here, I've got my chair out. That's my little pitch, nice. It's not sinking into the ground because it's quite stable there. Just got the radio on, got a signal up here so I can check, keep an eye on the weather and I can listen to the radio. There was a butterfly around here before, it was done off, it got all camera shy. Looked like a fritillary or it could have been a red admiral, I'm not sure. Didn't get a good enough look at it. That's the chief, uh, the big one. Um, hedge hope. Um, what's that? Oh, I can't remember. I can't remember the name. Wait, Langley, Langley Crags is in front of it. Housey Crags in there. East Coast. Over there. Over that was the shill right in the distance. That's Scotland. Just where that tallest one is. Anyway, right, so I'm just gonna have this chill out. It's really nice. There's not much to do, you know, but it's just so nice just to sit and relax. No TV, no the radio playing some music. That's what you want now. Helps you wind down. Ready for tomorrow. Ugh. Gonna be on that site all day tomorrow. Waiting for concrete. Panasonic camera for that. That sun that went down there was a perfect circle. It just went down, 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 down. Perfect circle. I didn't bring that big camera again. Hey, never mind, never mind. Right, look at the sky. I tell you, it's gone really chilly. I mean, it goes chilly, right? From what the temperature was before. I kind of handle this tripod. Right? Maybe it's too high, hang on, I'll bring it down. Lower periscope. Ah, uh, produce for this. But when the when the temperature goes down, the condensation comes. It doesn't matter how much venting you've got, right? Yeah, you know, all these people say, no, oh, hilly berg tents, oh, full of condensation. Any tent in the world, when that temperature drops like that. We'll get condensation. It was it was 21 degrees when I came. It's about 11 now. So it's gone down 10 degrees. And that is condensation city. There's nothing you can do. It doesn't matter how expensive your tent is or how cheap it is. There's nothing you can do about that condensation. I wish people would stop bashing Hilliburg tents for like mm, condensation. Condensation. You get that in every tent. Okay. Right. What you told, don't argue. <laughs> so, before I was saying about poor old Charlie Watts, he uh, passed away eight years old, bless him. Joe Wiley just read out it, me little message, which I was quite chuffed about. Dawn's right. Beginning of the show tonight. Listen. Um, 
Andy Wardlin, beautiful Northumberland, really sad about Charlie. What a character, never forgotten. I'm up a mountain camping tonight with the great tunes and a billion flying things loving it. Sat waiting for the sunset. Well, that all have sounded spectacular, I'm sure, Andy. Thank you for your words. Boo! Get in. She's right, like, the page you can't always get what you want. And I'm just sitting there watching that sun go down with that on. It was a little bit of a tear in the eye. A little bit of a tear. I really like the Rolling Stones, like, they just, I don't know, defy logic how they're still going. Well, one of them's not, is he now? But they are still going. Anyway, that's it for filming, I think, tonight. Midges have made their appearance. There's 10 billion flying ants around. And the sun's gone down. The temperature has really dropped, like, it really has. There's loads of buzzing. <laughs> if you don't like insects, this is not the place for you. I don't mind them. If they bite you, they bite you, you know what I mean? The hell with it. Can't kill you. Just remember, they can't kill you. They can seriously injure you, but they can't kill you. Right, I'm just going to cut to that. That's my view. Morning cameras. Heady hi. Nothing. Lots of things actually. Grouses. There's, there's millions of them there. Very noisy buggers. Moon still up. And I've woke up to this sight for sore eyes. Look at that. That's very nice to see. It's gonna blind us in a second, like, but look at that though. Time's the sun coming. It's only quarter past six. This inversion in the valley. See, this is the temperature drop. It's freezing. It's really cold. It's only about nine degrees or something. This tent is soaked. The condensation is a nightmare. That's what they are saying about the drop in temperature because it was so warm yesterday and it just goes so cold and that's when you get all the condensation. I'll show up about condensation now. Just going to get the kettle on for the head to be job. Oh, I should be there in time. Nice and early. So what I'll do is, I'll get everything put away, film the usual no trace malarkey, and then off. 35, 40 minutes walk back. That's it. Wait, oh, I'm gonna put my coat on. And five minutes later, we're gone. So that was it, this little patch, it's the only patch. You've got two tents, you could probably get one there, one here. You'd have to be pals like, and maybe just get one there. Alright, but nice little place. I've camped here a couple of times now. It's something to do overnight, and I saved myself a few quid on hotel room. It's also saved us having to get up too early. Because I'm on my way now. What time is it? It's seven o'clock. I should be there now. Seven thirty. I think I've got to be there. It'll be alright. Start without his but I'll, I'll catch them up. Right. So unless anything interesting occurs, that'll be it. I'll be out at the weekend, I think, with Mr. Chebzoot and Think Peas is out. Don't know about, uh, that's Friday. Don't know about Saturday and Sunday, I haven't made any plans yet. I'll see what happens. Weather's all right, isn't it? It's, it's, uh, you've just got to get out in this weather because make the most of it before it turns again. All right, all right, let's get off. This is the path. That's the top. Poles are pointing away. <laughs>